Hey guys, Shishan Midget here. So I'm going to be doing a review video on the SIG P365XL. So I know these SIG P365s are pretty popular. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time behind these guns. Uh, this is my brother's. Um, he has owned a Glock for going on two years, close to two years now, maybe about a year and a half. Uh, this winter will probably be two. Um, but he needed something smaller. He ended up getting the XL, which is the longer slide and frame. I kind of think that was a mistake. I think he should have gotten the shorter one. It's not a whole lot shorter, to be honest. Um, and with this longer barrel, you're going to get more velocity, which can uh, be better for um, protecting yourself. Let's just put it that way. Uh, you'll get a little bit more velocity, and potentially with hollow points, it will expand better, you know, open up and stop instead of over penetrate kind of thing um, basically terminal ballistics now I'm not sure how many magazines came with this gun and what exactly came with it my brother does not have the uh, original box and stuff here so I think it came with two mags if I'm not mistaken two 12 rounders um, I think they make an extension plate for this if I'm not mistaken so it can hold a couple more but I will say the 12 rounder fits flush and uh, there's no pinky hanging off of the frame, so I would probably just run the 12 rounders. They are metal and kind of typical SIG style. They're pretty good quality. Uh, seems pretty crammed. That last round barely fit in there, but you can see it's got two little windows, 12, so we're full. My brother does carry this with, what, Winchester hollow point. Same thing with his Glock. He's just got two mags of hollow point, one for each. Um, and then he has a bunch of uh, FMJ. I'll show you the kind of ammo that we've shot through it so far uh, when we get to that. But basically onto the gun. Um, in my opinion, it's very top heavy and that's because the lower frame is polymer. Um, I'm used to metal frame guns. All of my handguns have metal frames. You see it here? See how I push the frame down and it just tips. And I know another YouTuber pointed that out. I don't know who. When the magazine's in it, it fits or it sits flat because you got weight here now. And then again, when you take the mag out, it just, it's not a big deal. It's just something to note. So I'll start talking about the features. This gun, uh, I think was around 600 bucks if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he does have a holster for it in the waistband. I'm not sure what brand it is. It doesn't look like it's marked. Oh, T-Rex arm. It's got a T-Rex arm. And I remember hearing him talk about that. So I guess T-Rex arms um, holster for this. So let's just talk about the features. Um, first of all, I mean, you can probably notice it, it's got a frame safety. So some people don't like that. I believe they sell this version without the frame safety, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of like the frame safety, in my opinion. And here's why. Now the guns that I carry here, this is a 9mm, um, it is a Bursa TPR9C. It's a little bit heftier, heavier, thicker, and longer than the XL, and that's because of my threaded barrel, and it goes out all the way to the end. So again, a positive about this is that I'm getting extra velocity. In fact, this barrel is not much shorter than my M9, which is a full size, because it's, it's uh, rifled all the way to the end of the... Uh, uh, cap for the threads there. Just like the 1911 fashion, it is ambi, and it's very positive click. It's kind of loud, in my opinion. Like, if you were to draw it and click, uh, that's not really that loud. Mine's probably louder on the, the Springfield, if I'm being honest. It's uh, These guns are going to have a clicking sound, though, which is good because, you know, it's positive. Theoretically, you're not going to want to be silent anyways. Once you pull it out and flip it off safe, you're going to be probably shooting anyways. So frame safety there in my book isn't bad. Some people aren't going to like it. It does act as a safety, of course, like you can't pull the trigger. And it does not lock the slide, um, which is kind of a good thing. Some people, like with the uh, safety on this, it doesn't lock the slide. When the safety is on on this, it does block the slide. It makes the trigger dead and you can't cock it. And that's because this is a single double action. It does have a slide lock only on the one side, and uh, I think it's pretty accessible. Even with my thumb, I can actuate it no problem. Takedown is very similar. 
from a M9. It has to be on fire, but you can flip the uh, little switch down and then you can pull the slide off. That's pretty much how an M9 is. You just have to push a button on the other side and then flip it down. Um, this is pretty dirty. We did shoot this yesterday. My brother needs to clean it and I think he was trying to volunteer me to clean it just because I was the one that shot, uh, what, four, five mags through it. Reliability seemed to be uh, pretty positive. I didn't have any malfunctions when I was out there with him, and he's probably had, I'd say, 200 rounds through this gun. Really not even that much, but no malfunctions so far. My brother doesn't go to the range very often, like I do. Um, so, uh, this will not see as much use as my gun. So again, this is the XL. It does say it XL on the slide. So I think it's maybe an inch or two longer. Um, personally, I thought a shorter one would have been better for concealed carry because that's what this gun is for. Because I know firsthand, uh, to be honest, like with shorts and a t-shirt, it is impossible for me to carry this Bursa and conceal it perfectly. Um, and with shorts because it's heavy. So when I get to move and walking around, my pants start to fall down straight up. Uh, with this, that does not happen because this is light enough, it's small enough, I literally load this thing, put it on my hip, and I forget that it's there all day. Um, and that's just incredible. With this, can't say the same. So that is definitely like a summer gun or a work, you know, basically my main concealed carry. So um, it does have a rail in the front, but it's a proprietary system. I think you can kind of clamp attachments on there. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. The lower receiver is plastic. As you can see, it's very comfortable. There's like this cutout on either side, right here in the plastic for your thumb. And if you carry it, you know, if you're a, a lefty, your thumb would sit in the same spot. So it's very good uh, engineering. Also the bottom here is um, flared, so you can reload, I mean, very quickly, I'm sure. I didn't do any reloads because my dumb brother only brought one mag. So I wasn't able to, you know, reload like a cool guy. Also, the spring is very heavy in this gun. And I don't know if it's part of break-in because my brother's only had two in a round. I don't think so. I think this spring is just naturally heavy. So if you're an older person, you may not be able to rack this gun just straight up. I mean, it's got serrations in the front and the back, but it is a heavy spring. The spring on my... Um, 911 is very light. It is very easy to actuate the slide. Like anyone can do it. My grandparents, anyone. Um, this, with the Bursa, it's, especially when the hammer's back, it's a pretty light spring too, if I'm being honest. Uh, plus, this thing has had a lot of rounds to it. So onto the sights. This is pretty disappointing. Uh, even my brother was saying the same thing. These are night sights. They do glow in the dark, but the back ones are basically blacked out during the day. And the green one is <clears throat> basically the only reference you have <clears throat> during the day that you can see. And it's really not that bright either. The front one isn't. I have lights here, so it kind of does look bright. This would be at its best. Uh, well as, here, let me just put up my spring field. Look how nice those sights are. Would it have been that hard to just put like a ring of white? Because these glow in the dark too. The, the uh, spring field here. The middle does. So why couldn't... They have just done a white outline, white and green, kind of like what's on here. Uh, on my Bursa, I did replace the sights to SIG brand, actually. They're just different. They're SIG light, uh, light sights, I think is what they call them, L-I-T-E. Uh, they were like 60 bucks. This is compatible with SIG style sights. Uh, so I put them on there. They do glow in the dark. They are bigger than, you know these but I love the sights on both of these guns switched them out well actually not true the burst I switched out these came with it and pairing it's just not as good I don't like these sig sights the front one's okay but I would say the back one needs to be switched to something brighter so the trigger is kind of uh, it started to grow on me but I will say the position of it is just not good so you see how far forward this thing is? I am used to single action triggers. See how short that is? 
I'll make sure it's empty um, so I can put my finger on the trigger. I'm not going to drop the hammer, but you see like where my finger's placed? It's just comfortable. You see how far forward this thing is? I just feel like I'm reaching, or when I grab it, I want to like pre-cock the trigger, but like that cannot be safe, because if I do that and accidentally fire it when I'm not intending on it, it's just not a really good trigger. This one isn't awful, but again, it's the position. I like that it's straight, but they should have just cocked it like that. It should be sitting like that so that people can get a better finger. You know what I mean? Because when I grab this, I naturally want to pull the trigger anyways. So the trigger should just start there and maybe pull back a little bit further, have a little bit more of a, a pull back. I also did notice like when you push the slide forward, this is really weird. When you push the slide forward, like kind of hit it and you pull the trigger, it literally pulls the slide back a hair. I don't know if you can hear this, but even when I hold it downwards and I go to pull the trigger, see how it, it like pulls the whole frame back. You can hear it click. It's just, and, it, and it, I could visually see it when I pull the trigger, it pops back a hair. And then you can fire it. It's just like some play. I don't get it. It's not quite in the slide. It's in this portion that's attached to the slide on the back. I don't know. It's really weird. It's something I thought I would just note. Like when I pull the trigger, I feel it kind of, you can hear it too. Like when I grab the slide, you can hear that play. I don't know what it is. It's not the action because the barrel's not moving. Um, so when you push it forward, pull the trigger, see how it clicks? And it's like pulling it back just a hair. So here's the ammo that we were shooting yesterday out of this gun. I shot a full box of steel case tool ammo. No malfunctions, worked just fine. Seemed decent. It seemed to shoot decent with this steel case. It is lower powered ammo. Not a whole lot, but a little bit lower velocity than uh, some of the higher stuff. So this is Swiss Swiss from Switzerland. Um, military uh, spec ammo. Surplus, I think is what they called it. Or not surplus, because this is like new stuff. It's current production. But apparently it's like Switzerland's NATO ammo, basically like we have here. And these are 124 grain, just like the NATO spec, 124 grain. Um, this is really good stuff. It's got sealed primers, really good. My brother, I think, has like 400 rounds of this stuff left. Um, so I told him to hold on to it, not use use it up all that much, because this is good stuff. I think shooting a little low, because I, a couple times I shot and I saw like wood just shoot out and then after the fact we checked it and it had been hit with quite a few nine so it was going a little low but low isn't that big of a deal because if it was low I'd be hitting him in the nutsack so like it's still a uh, hit on a full human sized in real life but on the target I was missing a little low and hitting the uh, two by four so um, if you have any questions or anything let me know thank you for watching Trying to make this video short, I don't have a whole lot of shooting footage with it, so it's one reason why I'm trying to make it short. And uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next video then.